Um, so the first word on page Sitta Wetamanun, Sofha Sitta Wetamanun. And then a Hobbs Hobbs Idi Hobbs Hobbs Mumtaz Dejaj Dejaj Jar 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 Jamil Jidden Mamma Hobbs Red <laughs> Mountains, bread. When, and we say خو بز. ما معنى دجاج؟ Chicken. Mountains. دجاج. Chicken. Mountains. There is other. So just a cultural note. Some North African countries they rely a lot on خبز, but Middle Eastern countries rely on what? To in their in their diet, they, their diet consists of a lot of what? Like we eat a lot of bread. I come from North Africa. Bread has to be on a table. What do you have to have on a table in a Middle Eastern country? Lots of like meat and chicken. Montez <laughs> and rose. Rose, <laughs> right? <laughs> How can I forget? <laughs> I hope your parents are not near you like Rose. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, Rose, Rose is or in Fusha, they would say Aroz. Aroz. You see there is Elif, Ra and Za. And as you remember, these letters do not connect to one another. So you would put place them like this. But in Amiya, you would say Roz, Roz. Mumtaz um, So roz would be rice. I think I still remember how to spell the word rice. <laughs> how about jar? Neighbor? Masculine? Mumtaz. Jar. Neighbor. Wa. The female would be? Jara. Jara. Jameel. Jara. Jara. Let's place the other um, individual names. So we have Jar, Jara, and then we have Ach. What does Ach? Brother. Brother. Uh, brother. And then the next one is? Ach. 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 Aidi, min fadlik. Ach, 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 Stress on the o, o. Yeah, make it, make it sounded. Ach, Mara Ochra Imalia. Ach. Mumtaz, Jameel, Ucht. And then we have the word Jadid. Mamana Jadid, Julia. New. Mumtaz. And then we say Jadida. Think of a word that you learned in previous um, units. And you could use it with the word jadid or the adjective jadid meaning new. What can you say? Kalem jadid. Mumtaz. Kalem jadid. Afwan, mara akhra. Randi, kalem jadid. Jameel jiddan. Mumtaz. Randi. قلم جديد جملة أخرى um, عندي سيارة جديدة ممتاز جميل عندي 
And this is one of the ways you can keep your notes with the sentences. That way they remind you of how to place the adjective in the sentence. So you can, all you have to do is change qalam and you can say, I have a new friend. How would you say that? I have a new friend. And the sahib jadid. Mumtaz. So you would say the exact same thing. Indi sahib jadid or sadiq jadid. So you would just place a noun here. Jamil jiddan. The other words we have on on the same page. Safha sitta wa thamanun. Uh, page 86. Masa al khair. Masa al khair. Ma Good evening. Mumtaz. Masa al khair. And if someone responds to your greeting or good evening, how would he or she say uh, say it? Masah and Noor. Mumtaz. Masah and Noor. So every time someone says Masah al khair or Sabah al khair, you change just the first part. You say this, the other person has to respond by saying, an enlightened, <laughs> it's it's a kind of a competition. <laughs> I wish you an enlightened evening. I wish you a good evening. I wish you a better evening. Um, so, masa al khair, masa al nur. Yalla ya Imalia, can you say the first part and then Julia would respond? Mm -hmm. Make it competitive. Masa al khair, ya Julia. Masa al nur, ya Imalia. <laughs> and then you can say sabah al khair and sabah al nur and that means good evening and better evening or nur nur and this is also a name nur means light um so masa al khair masa al nur and both of them mean good evening. Okay, there you go. It's hard to switch from two languages when you're writing them together. <laughs> okay, the other one we have. Mahia, can someone help me read it? The next word on the list. Andy. Mumtaz. Julia, the next one. Laisa Andy. Mumtaz. Ma ma'ana indi ya Imalia? I have. Jameel, jiddan. Wa ma ma'ana laisa indi? I don't have. Mumtaz. And this is both for I. Jameel, jiddan. The other one, I will kalima al ukhra here. Mahia? Su'al. Mumtaz. Su'al. Jameel. Su'al. Ma ma'ana su'al? Question. Jameel. Now we have something to put a sentence together. Do you think you can do it? No. No. Yalla. Tafadali. Very simple, but Andy so Al. Mumtaz. Andy so Al. How about you, um, Imalia? The other sense that you might say. Laysa Andy so Al. Laysa Andy so Al. Sahih. Jamil. What's the opposite of su'al? And again, there's another trick to learn more vocabulary. Always think of opposites. What's the opposite for su'al? The opposite of su'al would be jawab. Jawab. Indi jawab, laysa indi jawab. A'idi 
using the word Joab? Ya Imalia. Nada Joab. Joab answer. And so a question. Jameen. So ma ma'ana Joab. So if you're saying what does it mean? Mm -hmm. We would say ma ma'ana. Ma ma'ana. Ma ma'ana Joab. Ma ma'ana Joab. ممتاز. أعيدي مرة أخرى. ما معنى؟ ما معنى؟ ممتاز. لو جواب معناه answer بالإنجليزي أو بالإنجليزية. ممتاز. Then then we have two more words. One is conjugated. The other one uh, is just a noun. Uh, can someone help me with these two words? تفضلي إيمانيا. ليس عندي صفح. Oh, ليس عندك صفح. I can't find the page on my my textbook. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, how about I typed you... it in the PDF, but I think it's different. Hmm. Okay. So I'll try to um, provide that here. So the word we're looking for is أحب. 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 It means ماذا تعني؟ ما معنى أحب؟ ما معنى أحب؟ I love. ممتاز. And we say أحب. When we conjugate, we say we change. We keep the root. You see, the root is حب, and حب means love. Um, so love is حب. But if we're going to put a the verb conjugation, we have we place in the present tense we place the indication of the speaker. Uheb, that's a conjugation. Uheb, I love. You love would be to heb, and this is fusha only. Uheb mm -hmm. to heb, and then for a girl it would be to ina, and we will place the word help here and these are the, the only examples we have in this um, unit so we would say to hey bean to hey bean to hey bean let's have each one of you read all three together yalla أحب تحب تحبين جميل جدا تفضلي جوليا أحب تحب تحبين جميل جدا ممتاز ممتاز and here let me write the translation right it's underneath it let's make it a different color <laughs> I love you love for masculine and then you love for feminine. Jamil, the last one we have is Rakam Telephone. Rakam Telephone. Rakam Telephone. If you're trying to say my phone number, which part of this compound word would would you uh, change to my or attach my to it? Would you say rakami telephone or would you say rakam telefoni? Telefoni, rakam telefoni. Jamil, so the phone would be the one to take the possessive, not rakam, because sometimes I would hear students take the number first, saying my number, because that's how. You would say it in English, but mm -hmm. here it's Rakam Telefoni. Aidi Julia. Rakam Telefoni. Mumtaz. Another indication to learn every time you're learning a phrase or um, a compound word like this, think of the gender of the word. What's the gender of Rakam? Masculine. Test. So if you're trying to say my phone number is, and remember we learned how to say is, 
referring to what? How do we say is? Rakam telefoni. I thought there was no is in the present tense. Exactly, but we're uh, we're we're referring to something. Trick we're, question. We talked about who and he. Oh, right. Oh. Do you remember when there is no verb to be in 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 the present tense, but we refer only to gender by using hua and he. Mm -hmm. Um. So we say rakam telefoni hua. The examples of where we don't have verb to be is when you say this house is big. So mm -hmm. you can't say is in this in that example. But if you're you're saying this is my phone number or my phone number is and you are providing information, you would refer to rakam by its gender saying hua. Rakam telefoni hua. Let's say you want to say something like my friend is Imalia. My friend is, and you give an information, my friend is Imalia. How would you say that? Rafiqati huwa Imalia. Okay, so stick to that example. I'm going to start a new page. So you, you're trying to say my friend is Imalia. Mm-hmm. How would you say that? Rafigati here. Sorry. Montez. Emilia. Rafiqati Sadiqati Sahibati. And then you would say here Imalia. Because what you're doing is you're giving me information. So here it 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 goes, it connects between two parts of the sentence. The first one you're saying, my friend is, and then here you're giving me information by saying Imalia. But in sentences like where you're saying, um, uh, uh, this house is big, You don't say is as hua. Had al bait hua kabir. You would say hada. Can someone finish it? Hada. Hada bait hua kabir. Or you don't use hua, right? Sahih. So we don't use hua in this example. Hada bait. Keep going. هذا بيت كبير جميل جدا هذا بيت كبير ممتاز جميل جميل okay so for for this part what you have to do is just write more examples and if we're trying to use the verb أحب and let's say I love chicken <laughs> how would you say I love chicken أحب الثجاج Mumtaz. So try to place the verb here, like ohib, and then put your sentences right next to it. And you can say ohib dajaj. So I have to give you more space between words that way. Ohib dajaj. Um, I love bread. How would you say that? Oheb Kobs Montez Oheb Kobs. I love my neighbor. Oheb Jarti Montez Jemin Oheb Jarati Jemin. And again, we were learning the feminine. Masculine would be jari, plural, and this is no, not part of the word, but because we refer to neighbors all the time and we say, I love my neighbors, we say jirani. Jirani, because the plural is jiran. 
for neighbors. So you'd say, أحب جيراني. أعيدي مرة أخرى. ممتاز جميل. So that'll be all for unit four. It was it was quite uh, filled with vocabulary, and I hope um, they were clear. Do you have any questions about the words we covered today? لا. لا. جيد. Who can give me the longest sentence you can make <laughs> using any of the words we learned in this unit? And let me go. You want me to go to the other list? Let's do this. There you go. Who can give me the longest <laughs> <laughs> sentence? Now we're making it competitive. <laughs> Yalla. Uh, the longest sentence you can make using any of these words. I think uh, wait, I don't know if I... Okay, and the soel menin the jaj jaraki. I know. Aindi soel min ain the jaj jaraki. Mumtaz. Jamil Jiddan. I have a question. Where is, where, where from where is my neighbor's chicken? Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, la Imalia, give us yours. Um, I don't have one. <laughs> hmm. How about my sister loves something or my neighbor loves this and 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 remember we learned and so you can add and and and. <laughs> <laughs> um, what it, would you say, uh, to have been? Uh, for Heya, uh, Heya, uh, you can also to... use to. Actually, that's a good question. For you and she, mm -hmm. you can say to. Okay, so, uh, to have been. Roz wa thajaj wa khubiz. Jameel jidan. Mumtaz. So, ukhti would refer to her as hiya to hib. So, you don't have to say hiya. Just use to hib. Ukhti to hib. Ukhti to hib. Jameel jidan. Well, thank you so much for joining this study session. And we'll have... Uh, these documents with the vocabulary and I'll go through the translation before I send it to you. That way you can have it for your notes. Shukran jazeelan. Shukran, Shukran. 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 Shukran.